Greer Mania is running wild in Boston after last night's preseason win over the New York Rangers, in which Jack Stanika set up two goals by A.J. Greer, including the overtime game winner. I'm going to talk about that and more on today's episode of Locked On Boston Bruins. Your Locked On Bruins, your daily podcast on the Boston Bruins. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is up, Bruins fans, and welcome to a special bonus episode of the Locked On Boston Bruins podcast. I'm your host, Ian McLaren. And this is a daily show where we discuss all things spoke to be, as well as take a look around the NHL. Today is Wednesday, September 28th, and you're going to notice two podcasts in your feed today. One is a crossover that I did with the Locked On Senators guys earlier this morning, but I could not not touch on last night's preseason game, including A.J. Greer's uh, fantastic showing against the New York Rangers. First, a quick thank you for making Locked On Bruins your first listen every day. The podcast free and available on your podcast app on YouTube. Please do hit that subscribe button. You can follow along at Locked NHL Bruins, and you can find me, my dad jokes, hockey tweets, at Ian C. McLaren. AJ Greer scoring the overtime game winner on Tuesday evening over the New York Rangers when he said he said when he scored that goal maybe he shouldn't have sellied that hard but he just loves scoring goals scoring an OT winner in Boston what do you want more yes it was a preseason game but it was the second goal of the night and he certainly endeared himself to Bruins fans with uh, some inspired play here in the preseason. He said he's having fun playing the game. He's focused. He's intense. He enjoys what he does. He's not going to apologize for it. And he appreciated the sick reaction from the crowd. And he looks forward to doing that again, hopefully. He's appeared in two preseason games for the Boston Bruins. He's showing off some speed, some skill, some size, some shenanigans. And Jim Montgomery said after the game, you know, there's still 10 days left in camp. But if the season were to start today, A.J. Greer would be in the lineup. He dropped the gloves with... Hayden Hodgson in a game against the Flyers on Saturday, racking up 17 penalty minutes. And last night showed off the uh, prettier side of his game with a beautiful top shelf goal. And then the overtime winner, both courtesy of Jack Stanika assists. We'll touch on his performance here in a moment. He models his game, he said, after Milan Lucic, so... Bruins fans are going to love that. And the line of Jack Stanika, AJ Greer, and Mark McLaughlin um, really looking like the makings of a solid fourth line for the Boston Bruins. Jim Montgomery said what remains to be seen is what else he can give, but they like what they've seen from him so far. Uh, he can do everything. Fighting, hitting, shooting, Energy in the building, energy on the bench, doing a lot of good things. Uh, He loves Boston so far, and he's no stranger to scoring in Boston. He uh, scored on a one-timer off a feed from Jack Eichel that gave BU a two-goal lead in the eventual 5-3 victory over North Dakota, clinching a spot in the 2015 National Championship. Now, the thing with Greer is that, you know, he signed to a two-year deal with the Boston Bruins. He was a second-round pick in the 2015 NHL entry draft, which we know oh so much about. He showed some flashes in the AHL last season with the Utica Comets, 
22 goals, 30 assists for 52 points in 53 games. Just hasn't been able to put it together at the NHL level. 47 games played with the Colorado Avalanche, who drafted him in 2015, and the New Jersey Devils. Two goals, six assists. Dauber Hockey wrote in March of this year that, as he's done in the past, the 25-year-old journeyman putting up good numbers in the AHL after failing to do so in the NHL. He was acquired by New Jersey in a trade that sent Kyle Palmieri and Travis Zajac to the New York Islanders. And um, he did have the strong performance in Utica after not hanging with the Devils. The former second-round pick still has time to stick in the NHL, but he's running out of chances. And it looks like he could get that here with the Boston Bruins if he continues to excel here in the preseason. We're going to talk about Jack Stanika here in a moment, but first a quick word about Bet Online, your number one source for football betting info this season. You can find all the latest player developments, team matchups, and news, podcasts, and in-depth articles and analysis on every game you can find. As always, Ben Online remains your continued source for all sport wagering information with live betting up to the minute scores for every sport out there. The fastest and easiest way to check in on all your favorite games and events, Major League Baseball, MMA, boxing, and golf. Head to betonline.net or use your mobile device to learn more at Bet Online, where the game starts. Now, I mentioned Jack Stanika playing center on the line with Greer and McLaughlin. Um, Greer said he's an awesome guy with the puck, well positioned all the time. On the first goal, it was a very aggressive Stanika forecheck that got the puck, sent it out to Greer, who credited Stanika for the success he achieved last night. If Stanika is not in the right positions, if he's not making those plays, he said the first goal was all Stanika. The forecheck, finding Greer in the slot, and he was able to bury it. Second goal, too, Stanika got up the ice and found Greer right on the tape. Two amazing plays, and uh, he's a guy that can play under pressure and make those poised decisions, according to A.J. Greer. It's a huge training camp for Jack Stanika. He has an opportunity to push for some playing time. You know, my fourth line to begin camp was penciled in as Nick Foligno, Thomas Nosek, Oscar Steen. I should say Steen played well last night too, scoring a shorthanded goal to tie things up. Now you have a potential Greer, Stanika, McLaughlin fourth line. There's going to be some interesting decisions here to be made by Jim Montgomery and Don Sweeney. Do you roll with guys like Nick Foligno, Thomas Nosek, Craig Smith, Trent Frederick to a certain extent? Or do you try to bury them, move them, free up some cap space and go with some of these younger guys who definitely appear to be ready to contribute at the NHL level. Not that he's really even a young guy, uh, Greer. You know, he's 25, drafted in 2015. Uh, some very interesting decisions to be made here by Don Sweeney, Jim Montgomery, and for me, A.J. Greer belongs in the lineup at this point. Another guy who looked pretty good was Anton Strahlman. He was playing alongside Hampus Lindholm on the blue line. He's there on a tryout agreement. Doesn't have an NHL contract. Played 21 minutes a night last season for the lonely Arizona Coyotes. Last night, 18 minutes and 30 seconds of ice time. Uh, he was a plus two, if you're into that stat. Uh, no shots on goal, but... Looked very solid defensively and 
is another guy that they're going to have to try to make room for. For me, he looked very good and looked like a guy who could help this team, a team that definitely needs some depth on the right side. Mike Riley, though, is one of those guys who could be bumped out. He had a pretty good game. He had an assist, five shots on goal, three hits, very close to earning Big Bear of the night, but I'm going to have to give it to Greer. Two goals, five shots, seven hits in 13 minutes and 27 seconds of ice time. Just a fantastic performance from him. And uh, again, for my money, he belongs in the lineup on opening night. That's it for this shortened episode of Lockdown Boston Bruins. They're both uh, both groups are practicing this morning. An extended uh, stay for Matthew Poitra of the Guelph Storm. Uh, Tony Saxon here in Guelph reporting he's still at camp. He was on the roster for last night, didn't get into a game. Guelph Storm with their season opener on Friday. Who knows if he'll be back for that. The Bruins will be practicing here, getting ready for their next preseason game which will be played on Saturday against the Philadelphia Flyers that will mark the halfway point of the exhibition schedule with games coming up against the Devils and Rangers next week hope you're all having a great week so far Mighty Ducks Game Changers season two on Disney plus I'll have a review of that on tomorrow's podcast as well as bring you all the latest on the black and gold here on the Locked On Boston Bruins Podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your favorite team every single day.